Hello, I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you for joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Our guest is Dr. Terry Phillips. She's joining us today as Vice President and Global Head of Medical Affairs at Merce Americas. And uh, she's joining us to talk about selecting the right neurotoxin for both aesthetic and therapeutic applications. Welcome to the program, Dr. Phillips. Thank you so much for taking the time this morning. Thank you. It's great to be on this call with you. Uh, Give us a bit of background about yourself and talk about your position there at Merce. Yeah, so I um, actually joined Mertz in January of 2018. I am, by training, a board-certified pediatrician, board-certified in neonatology as well. And I uh, was in medical practice until about 2015, but joined the pharmaceutical sector in 2002 and have spent my entire career in the pharmaceutical space in medical affairs. And so this is my second global role. I came here from the San Francisco Bay Area and my role at uh, the, my current role is to build a best in class global medical affairs organization based in Raleigh, North Carolina. You're very busy to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. Very busy. Traveling quite a bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, Merce America, as you said, building medical affairs functions to support aesthetics and neuroscience markets um, on a worldwide basis. Now, when we're talking about aesthetics, uh, cosmetology, are we talking plastic surgery? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. So we um, at Merce have our, our focus really is on two main areas, aesthetics as, as well as neurosciences. And I'll spend time just answering your first question about aesthetics. So. Our company is a 110-year-old family-owned company, Mm -hmm. and in the space of aesthetics, we are focused on three particular areas. We have product offerings in the injectable space, our lead product being Xeomin, and that's used for managing moderate to to severe uh, facial wrinkles and folds. Mm -hmm. And then we have devices, our lead product in the device portfolio being all therapy, and it is a non-invasive skin tightening uh, device, sort of a facelift um, that's not surgical. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then finally, we have skincare products. And our cutest range is for managing um, the advanced signs of aging. And those products are focused on the skin, the eye area, as well as the neck um, and the uh, decollete. decollete. um, And so really, it's not really, I wouldn't, you know, it's, 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 kind of a, a mix um, of, but it's all non-invasive. I wouldn't call it uh, cosmetology per se, but it is really um, a comprehensive uh, portfolio of injectables device as well as skin care to uh, manage and treat the signs of aging. Now, I would assume that there are a lot of physicians, specialists that you know specialize. Uh, how do you get the word out to these specialists about uh, your particular product line, your your devices, and how do you train them as to the best option for their particular patients? Yeah, so we, of course, um, like any um, commercialized organization, we have a very uh, great uh, sales force that's out there every day meeting customers. But on the medical affairs side, our focus is on medical communication. So what is the science that underpins uh, our products in a way that differentiates those and makes them uniquely positioned for the healthcare provider to select our portfolio to address the needs that their patients have in the aesthetics and or neurosciences space. And so uh, for medical affairs in particular, we're focused on generating novel research. We're focused on communicating the unique attributes of the products that we're offering to healthcare providers. And then uh, we have a what we believe is a unique educational offering we call them the MAC team. There are medical aesthetics consultants, and these are a team of um, these are advanced nurse aesthetic trainers, uh, background and expertise in how to apply the broad portfolio. And so they are accessible to healthcare providers who are interested in using our products and are interested in, use, in, in understanding advanced techniques. And then we also have medical science liaisons, and these are field scientific representatives who can discuss the scientific underpinnings of our products and our portfolio and answer questions about why uh, choose our products. You know, what are the differentiating attributes that would lead one to select a Mertz product? Would you say that Mertz products um, run the the entire spectrum of, of say, um textures, skin colors, uh, that sort of thing. I mean, being on a worldwide basis, uh, did you, do you think that maybe 
the uh, diversity of products and devices and how they span that spectrum sets Mertz apart from, say, other uh, companies of similar nature? Yeah, I said I love that question um, because you are absolutely right. The there are differences, uh, demographic differences, skin type differences, um, everywhere you go around the world. And so, um, our goal is always in our clinical trial to try to enroll a, a representative group. But because we have uh, offices in uh, major markets, Asia Pacific and Singapore, Latin America, out of uh, Brazil and Argentina, and then of course in the United States, and then in Europe. We feel like we um, are studying, uh, you know, uh, skin types that are representative of a globally diverse uh, demographic. And I, I can say anecdotally, we've heard, for example, with our all therapy offering, um, this is our skin tightening, non-invasive, uh, micro-focused ultrasound device that in skin of color, for example, this is a particularly useful device because unlike some of the other offerings for um, similar indications, uh, skin of color uh, does not um, have dispigmentation related to our all therapy device where it might have that with other offerings that are positioned uh, to address skin tightening issues. Does your MAC team deal with uh, civilians as well as uh, uh, <laughs> medical professionals when it comes to, say, breaking some of the... Um, some of the norms that, you know, the, the customer might believe about certain skincare products, certain applications, certain devices based on maybe some erroneous information or information that has not yet been presented? Yeah. So it's a great question because, of course, um, we're talking about, um, an, you know, an aesthetic, non-medically indicated set of procedures here. And consumers uh, definitely demand and want access to information. And the MAC team is specifically focused on training the healthcare provider, but we do have uh, a very experienced marketing team that focuses, focuses its efforts on direct-to-consumer uh, information. So, for example, with our lead product, Xamen, we just recently launched a campaign called Later Haters, and the Later Haters campaign is really focused on our main demographic, our main target demographic, and that is uh, women who are actually looking to look better, feel better, live better uh, using our products without judgment. So um, being uh, really unafraid to seek out aesthetic treatments uh, and to ask questions and to, um, you know, have all of the appropriate information to access the, the portfolio product offerings that we have at Mertz. Mm -hmm. And uh, to to understand, you know, specifically what those products can do to help them to achieve their best selves and do that without embarrassment or shame, um, but to really own own their their desire to um, improve and enhance their their aesthetic outcomes and their best selves. And that's our later haters campaign. Well, thanks so much for, for joining us on the program this morning, uh, Dr. Phillips. I know just a, a short period of time, just scratching the surface. Uh, maybe we can get you back in for some more uh, interviews and talk more about your uh, focus there at Mertz and uh, more about some of the uh, non-invasive products that you're offering. Okay. Really appreciate it. It's been great to talk with you today, Neil. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. Thank you for listening to Health Professional Radio. We're very proud to be an independent broadcaster providing our content free of charge to you, the listener. One of the ways that we're able to remain free and independent is by having people like you become patrons. You can support Health Professional Radio simply by visiting hpr.fm and clicking the button that says Become a Patron. Your patronage of even just $1 a month lets us know that you're there, which in turn makes us more valuable to advertisers. And, of course, if you're able to afford more, then we would certainly appreciate the support. My name is Toby Longhurst from Health Professional Radio. Please visit hpr.fm, click the Become a Patron button, and support us if you can.